In this video, we'll quickly review the MATLAB environment, script files, and publishing MATLAB codes. When you first boot up MATLAB, it might look something like this. You have the command window, which is where the main magic of MATLAB happens. You can type your code here. The workspace lists every variable you create. You can also see what value each variable holds, or its dimensions if the variable is a big array or matrix. It's a great tool that's conducive to quick debugging. You probably also have a panel showing the current folder. The path of the folder is shown up here in this toolbar. The folder you're in is called the working directory. If you download a code, it must be put in your working directory in order for MATLAB to find and run it. You can change the working directory by pressing this button here. The command window, workspace, and current folder panels might appear in different places and sizes on your computer. You can click and drag on a panel to place it in a different spot. Adjust the various panels to your liking. You can also set some preferences. I honestly don't remember what the version R2021B default settings are, so I'll just go over some of the preferences I like. Of course, feel free to change anything that you do or don't like. When I code, I like to enable automatic tab completions. When you start typing a variable, you can sometimes autocomplete it by pressing the tab button. This is useful if I have long variable names, but not so useful if I have a lot of similarly named variables. In the editor slash debugger tab, and then in the display menu, I like to highlight the current line I'm working on. I also like to have line numbers. I enable a 100 character text width and indicate that with a gray line. I like to keep the default tab spacing at four spaces. I enable code folding on pretty much everything. Code folding allows you to selectively hide or show parts of your code. For example, I can hide a code segment that works perfectly so that my screen only shows the code that I'm currently working on or having trouble with. I recommend using these settings for the automatic completions. Automatic completions expedite the coding process and is super useful for lazy people such as myself. When it comes to the font, I like to bump the font size up to 12 points. Finally, I like to use these colors to highlight different syntaxes within my code. Once again, all of these are my preferences and may not agree with your preferences. Spend a few minutes customizing your MATLAB. We'll be using it extensively, so definitely make sure you enjoy the settings. The command window is great for doing quick calculations. Its biggest pitfall is that the command window is cleared every time you open and close MATLAB. You can reload any code you previously typed by pressing the up arrow, but that's not the best solution. Instead, we can write a new script file. Now we have a new window called the editor. We can type whatever code we want, save the script file, and exit MATLAB. When we reboot MATLAB, our script file will be intact. We will do the vast majority of our coding in this course using scripts. In fact, let's mess around with the script. Download the me 2004 example scriptm file from the link in the video description. When you download it, it will probably be placed in your downloads folder by default. Please keep your files extremely organized. Don't just put everything in one folder or leave it all on the desktop. Proper file organization goes a long way. Here's how I organize my course folder. I have subfolders for each main component of the course and more subfolders for individual assignments or lectures. I copied the .m file from my downloads folder to the lectures folder beforehand. My current working directory is this main course folder, so I need to change the working directory to the lectures folder by pressing this button. Or I can just load the code from the folder and then press the run button. MATLAB tells us that the script file is not found in the current working directory, which is correct, but we can press the change folder button to change the working directory to the folder in which this script file resides. Now we can see that the current folder changed and MATLAB is able to run the code. You can press some of these minus buttons to fold the code. 
in this case, this entire section of code is just comments, so if I didn't want to see all of the comments, I could press one of these minus buttons to hide it. The last thing I'd like to do is show you how to publish your MATLAB codes. Let's say you write some code that you want to share or present in a fancy way to some coworkers. Instead of just handing them the M file to download, you can give them a pretty looking HTML or PDF of the code. Navigate to the Publish tab, which is just to the right of the Editor tab. There's a Publish button, but don't press that just yet. Instead, press the drop down arrow and hit the Edit Publishing Options button. The default publishing format is HTML. Change it to a PDF. You can also change where the PDF will be saved. Usually, it's saved in a new folder within your working directory. I like to keep it that way. Then, hit the Publish button at the bottom. MATLAB runs the code, then prints it in a nicely formatted PDF. This is how you'll convert the codes you write for homeworks into PDFs to submit to Canvas. The PDF itself is stored in the newly created HTML folder. I'm not sure why the folder is called HTML when it's saved as a PDF, but oh well. To summarize, we went over the basic layout of MATLAB and its customization options and published a script file. See you next time.